Today we're unboxing all of these boxes which contain live mystery fish. Woo! Six different fish that we have no idea what we're getting. Let's start with box number one, jump right into it. Dude, what do we say? We start from the top down? Yeah, but there's a big one in the middle. We're gonna be okay with that? I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. <sighs> oh my God, oh, dude, are you, you can't do that nice in here. Nice sound effects, guys. It's really fun. You can't do that in here, man. <laughs> Now I have to sit in your poop particles. Don't put that in. Guys, I'm People not are feeling lovely. well. I'm sick. I'm literally sick. I've been on a bender for two weeks. I'm sick. Not much scent, which is great. Come on, Jack. Box number two. Box number two. Box, Box number, number one. one. Box number one. Okay, we're in here. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, God almighty, man. Okay, you know, if we're going to do a box number one, we want it to be this. <laughs> Wow. Nothing Feeder fish, are you kidding me? It's literally only up from here. Technically it's only down from here, but really it's only up from here because we got about 10-ish fish. Who are we gonna feed that to? Larry Sponge. or Earl? All right, everybody. Everybody's gonna get fed, which is great. There's no way Earl's gonna catch that. Here we go. Let's get these goldfish and rosies. I don't know, it's a good variety. I'm good. putting all of them in that tank. Oh, Sponge is already ready. You guys love when we feed Sponge. He's literally a fan favorite. He's literally the mascot on our best selling shirt, Into the Deep, is Sponge. So he's uh, moving his little thing there. He's fired up. Dude, and he is loving Every time you put something live in here, he just loves his life. That's an angler fish. Wow, really zoom in on the feather, Brooke. Look how crazy they are. I've never seen him like keep it out. It's a big time feather, dude. That is like Whirly McWhirl. Come on, somebody swim over there. Investigate. He's really, yeah, he's really working it. He's, working he's a good it. fisherman. He's a good. That's like a sea witch right there, that Chris. Snook, he's wahoo fishing. That's a snook jig. The thing is, that goldfish is literally seeking refuge underneath Pat. That's how much Pat looks like a dang rock. I mean, you really can't see him, but Pat clearly is not hungry. That is the smallest. Oh, we got one. He got it? Let's oh my go. God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Sponge. You are amazing. He will eat the rest of them while they sleep like a freaking villain of a horror movie. <laughs> that's what we that's what like. What's going on today? <laughs> now, as you guys can see here, Earl, he's desperately, oh, he loves to, to just get live food. Come on, Earl. Earl. Earl versus a freaking goldfish. There's <laughs> almost no way. Earl, get it. Get it. <laughs> oh, my God. No way. Earl. He, he actually. He actually he had, had it for a second. He actually had the goldfish. Come on, Earl. Don't. Oh my God, I just lost the stick. Jack. Guys, the force on that was ridiculous. He'll, he'll let go of the stick. Yeah, he'll let go of the stick. He's got the, he's gonna get the goldfish right now. He got the goldfish, yeah, it's done. Yeah, he dropped the stick. He dropped the stick. All right, that's his new decor. Oh my God, look at that thing, dude. He's a savage. This guy was- That's like, it, that's it, he wants more. This guy is such a savage, bro. Look at him, he's shredding it. He's literally blue, dude, that thing's sick. He's so cool. Earl's my favorite pet we have. Box number two is the big box. Let's go. And I do the honors with the big box. Please this do. This horrific Please set of do. scissors, dude. I'm Are you okay today? No, I'm actually sick. I'm ill. I have a headache and a sore throat. I'm ill, and I'm still filming. Me, me, my turn. Oh my God, careful alert. Alert, alert, alert. They're always cool. Da -na, 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 da -na. Careful, Chris. That is a lionfish. Very venomous. You do not want to get pricked by this guy. Let's go ahead, take this first bag off so we can get a really good look. Oh, he's sick. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Wow. Lionfish, bro. Come here, buddy. There you go. He's out. Dang, those things are crazy looking. Super, super cool. Almost like a fan, a feather. Striped, polka dotted, all sorts of different colors of oranges and reds and whites and blacks. And they're actually some, they're pretty beast predators too. They eat everything you throw in the tank. Shrimp, live fish, anything. Super fun to feed. Good addition to the tank, I would say. I, th I think that's a pretty good box. In my opinion, this fish looks so much better from up top than it does on the side. So I think, I think a pond with a couple of these guys, these lionfish, looking at it from the top would be insane. We're actually in the works of getting multiple new saltwater ponds for things just like this right here. We're always gonna have pots and pans. They're staples on the channels, but we also wanna have a variety of different fish, different ponds, so you guys can all enjoy them. And this right here is definitely a fish that's on the list. Let's get him in the tank. Let's go. Oh, venomous that is the last thing. Poison alert, venom oh, alert, venom alert. Check him out in the tank right here. That's a big one. That's that is big, that's holy cow, that's nice looking, bro. Look at him go. 
Let's Perfect go. size for the tank. We have so many venomous things in this tank. Toadfish, scorpionfish, lionfish, everything. You do not want to put your hand in here. No. You do not want to put your hand that in here. That is literally the perfect size for this tank, though. Like, textbook. I love how those fans go out so, so big. wide. It's absolutely sick. This segment of the video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Introducing the Beard Hedger Pro Kit by Manscaped. So whether you've managed your beard for years or maybe you're thinking about getting started, you're probably wondering, what does the perfect beard grooming regimen look like? First up, the Beard Hedger Trimmer that has more than 20 hair cutting lengths that can be selected with this zoom wheel. You get 20 lengths with only one guard so you don't have to worry about a million clip-on guard attachments to get the job done. Second, in order to grow the perfect beard, you need help. You need the beard oil and beard balm. These two powerhouses help to take care of your skin and keep hair Hairs hydrated. Third up, the beard shampoo and conditioner. The Manscaped shampoo cleanses and the conditioner pampers your beard, leaving it feeling silky soft and smelling fresh. With the Beard Hedger Pro Kit, you even get a free beard accessory pack that includes a beard comb, beard scissors, and a beard brush. Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off and free shipping when you use code BARBS20 at checkout. That's 20% off plus free international shipping with promo code BARBS20 at manscaped.com. Growing a magnificent beard is possible thanks to the help from the manscaped beard hedger pro kit all right chris box number three box number trace live fish it could be a live dog could be a live bird live turtle but this is circle fish yeah, circle this fish way. let's go this is the worst scissors please be careful chris please <laughs> we don't know what we're dealing with here it could be a rat, so an alligator. It could be a rat. Actually, no, it ain't a rat because it's circle <gasps> fish. Wow. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Whoa! No venomous! No venomous! Venomous alert! Venomous alert! Venom alert! <laughs> venom alert! Holy crap! Dude, every time I are we only venom fish here? Every time I get these guys, I always hold them. Dude, you, guys, you are a psychotic human. You guys freak out in the comments. It's hilarious. Dude, one prick of that guy, and you're hurting. Dude, this thing is sick. I love these things. They look so ugly right when you get them out of the bag. They are literally heinous when you get them out of the bag. But after putting them in the tank- They're bright yellow. Dude, they're sick in the tank. Well, I think there actually are a couple different varieties of them though, right? No, no, dude, there's a majestic fox <laughs> face. Those I've seen a yellow one and like a white. No, 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 magnificent fox face. Those are sick. <laughs> Hopefully this is magnificent. We don't know yet. Maybe. You want to undress that bag? Yeah, I'll, I'll undress it. Thank but you. I was just saying, they look ugly in the bag, but then when you put them in the tank after a couple minutes, right, yeah, they look, they look magnificent. magnificent. There is a magnificent fox face. Yeah, there guys. is. All right, I'm getting these guys in the uh, in the old bucket here. Whoa, I mean, this he guy's cool. Looks, he actually looks pretty dope. He actually looks pretty cool. I he feel does. Like I have to grab him, dude. Dude, I think that you have to not grab it. I'm pretty sure that once this guy's not stressed in the bucket, he's going to be Electric yellow, just a full on a yellow. I think this is the first fox face I've ever owned, bro. Chris, you are a psychotic human being. Look at that. Look at that. That's a nice looking fox face right there. That is that insane is that you're holding that. You might as well bring him to the tank now if you can. No, nope, no, nope, can't risk it. All right, I agree, water. I agree. Get your hand out of there. Nice work, Christopher. All right, let's get him in, guys. Let's do this. What do you guys think? He is so crazy spot it looks like he would live in seaweed like look at that yeah he's gonna turn not it literally looks like he would live inside seaweed that is crazy the patterns everything on this fish come on buddy let's turn it around oh he's sick wow look at that that's a really cool that oh is cool, bro that that's is really, really cool. watch cool. his colors change ready oh he's hiding behind the rock now he's already oh my god he's literally already turning yellow you're not kidding told you guys man i've had my fair share of fox faces they're amazing fish are we halfway we are Holy crap, it's think... been all venom. What's next on the agenda? Oh my God, can you imagine? King, Scorpion fish? King Cobra. You're swinging those around and they're gonna go into someone's eye, <laughs> okay? And then I'll be the one-eyed fish guy. <laughs> I would totally wear an eye patch. Ready? I think, honestly, I think we have a venom theme here. Serious venom theme. Here we go, Chris. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh, okay, not a fish. Not a fish, hey, hey. Not a fish, a. Hey. I can hold this guy. This is a fantastic look. Bird to bird. I don't know the exact name of these these ones, dude. I never can remember it, but it's literally the same body shape as, as a chocolate, chocolate chip. chip starfish. Jinxie always said, "That is a cool looking starfish." I always love getting the red ones. The red ones are just sick. They just hit different, you know. Not like those chocolate chips, just brown, brown turds. This is a nice, thanks, Chris. Nice red starfish here. That is cool, bro. Horns on him though, on the side. Wow! That's what I'm telling you, 18-wheeler, bro, semi-truck edition. Yes, sir, so sick. Do I need to be scary? I'm gonna hand you the starfish. I love him. Don't be scary. 
Look, it's like the 18 wheeler. You know 18 wheelers, they have axles. Every car has axles. Axle auto? Thank you. But if you're a fish guy or fish girl, you bring your car to the mechanic. Excuse me, sir, I think my axle auto might be broken. Not your axle. Here we go. Welcome to your new home. That is such a cool starfish. Let's get him under the light there. That is cool. Should I put him on the rock? Yeah. There you go, bud. Enjoy the rock. There you go. That is cool. I, I, I genuinely think starfish are some of the coolest things that you can put inside of your aquarium. They are freaking dope. Two boxes left, guys. Dose. That means you guys should definitely check out shopfishguy.com. I agree. We are dropping amazing things on that site. We just dropped our Into the Deep hoodie, and we have a new launch coming. Favorite shirt, actually. My favorite shirt, actually. My favorite shirt of all time, my favorite fish of all time is on that shirt. Oh, yeah. I guarantee you it. it will become the number one bestseller, so you better keep, keep a lookout. Yeah, you guys are going to love that one. So just make sure you're subscribed to the email list down below. You click the link, put your email in, and you will, we will always send you notifications when we drop a new thing because they, they sell out super quick. You want to be like the first couple people that see that email and gets that uh, shirt or hat or hoodie, etc. So... I've been cheating. Let's get into the box. Yeah. I've been cutting it open the whole time. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Holy crap. Oh, I like this fish. Big fan of this fish. That it's a blue trigger. Whoa. Bag him, dude. He's spiky. Undouble bag him so we can enjoy it. All right, let's go here with our new trigger fish for the tank. This guy's absolutely sick. I love Look these guys. This, Bright dude. blue. Please don't bite me. Trigger fish are one of those He's fish that they don't me. care. They go after anybody. Look, Look at, at that, that tail, dude. That is, whoa, he's going fast. That is really cool. Niger trigger. That guy's beautiful. Look at this. You can't push here, but if you push right here, it'll go down. Look at that. So cool. Really, really light blue. This guy is almost like a turquoise. It's not really purple. It's like a teal. Turquoise teal. Woo! Look at that. Little trigger fish. So cool. Go go enjoy yourself. You got plenty of racks, plenty of friends. Now that we're friends. Last box. I think we've had a pretty solid mystery boxes today. I mean, it went from zero to a hundred. It did, it did actually, because it was Fast. it was a zero before. Then it went no, it went from zero to venom only to just good variety mystery here. Exactly. Last box. Last box oh. magic. Oh! Last box magic. Last box magic always hits. That is a good way to go out right that there. That is the cutest little porcupine puffer I love fish. him. This right here is a porcupine puffer fish. One of my favorite puffers in the whole entire ocean and favorite puffers to own. They are just the cutest, most personable, most freaking nicest puffer fish ever. I beg to differ, not nice. We'll kill everything. <laughs> no, but when you have them in the tank, it's just like, it's when like, you put them in with a bunch of fish first, then they want to attack. That is nice. If you add a new fish, he's gonna be a little feisty. All right, let's get this guy in the, in the bucket here. Now you guys can see where he gets the name Porcupine Puffer, because he is porcupine like, a, like crazy. He's so cute. He is so cute. Up and in, up and in, up and in. Welcome! So this guy is super, super cute, and he's gonna be living a great life within this tank with all of his buddies in here, with the new lionfish, the new starfish, his other puffer friend, that little awesome fox face. So this guy's gonna do very well in here. He's probably already hungry and already wants to eat. That's how pufferfish are, they eat instantly. And this guy is really cool. Look at the starfish. Oh my God, he's moving. It's the fastest starfish in our mankind. It's the fastest starfish in our mankind. That guy's got wheels. Wheels! I think that was a pretty kick butt box, multiple box right there, actually. Good. Six piece McChicken right there with a yeah. side of fries. That was killer. Get ready for the ponds. If you're new to the channel, it's the first video I've ever watched. Subscribe because it's only going up from here. It's the year of the upgrade. Words. It's the year of the upgrade. Here, here we come. Here come the fish, guys. Yeah. Also, don't forget, click the link down below. Put your email in. You're not going to want to miss that brand new shirt. Let us know your favorite mystery box that we got today in the comments. Drop it down below. Which is your favorite one? And go ahead and name him while you're at it. So drop your favorite fish and drop him a name, except the starfish. His name's Cody. Done. Period. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Later. Thank you.